Ampere circuit la, the line integral of the magnetic field surrounding closed loop equals to mu zero times the algebraic sum of currents passing through the loop. That is closed integral B dot DL equal to mu naught I. Let's see its proof. So in order to understand the proof, we consider a wire carrying current and this is circular loop. And we assume that magnetic field is constant along the perimeter of this loop. Now we consider small current element DL and then we can evaluate integration B dot DL. So here clearly angle between DL and B is zero degree. So B dot DL will be just B DL. So we can say integration B dot DL equal to integration B DL because B dot DL will be equal to B DL cos theta and theta is zero degree. So that will give B DL, which is equal to B times integration DL. And if you remember, magnetic field due to current carrying straight wire at distance r from it is given by b equal to mu naught i divided by 2 pi r. So we put the value mu naught i divided by 2 pi r and integration dl means circumference. So it would be 2 pi if the radius is r, then it will be 2 pi r. So we will get mu naught i. So this is b dot dl, which is proof of MPS circuit law. So it is very simple. Now let's see an application of MPS circuit law to a straight conductor carrying current. Here, this is conductor that carries current. Now we consider this loop. We assume that uh, at every point of this loop, magnetic field is a tangential and it is uniform. So let's write it integration B dot DL and that will be equal to integration B DL cos zero degree, which is equal to integration B DL which is equal to B times integration DL will give 2 pi R. So we have got B dot DL as B into 2 pi R and we know that integration B dot DL equal to mu naught I. So we can say B into 2 pi R equal to mu naught I from where B can get B equal to mu naught I divided by 2 pi R. Now let's consider one question. A straight thick long wire of uniform cross section of radius A is carrying a steady current I. Use ampere circuit law to obtain a relation showing the variation of magnetic field B inside and outside the wire with the distance R. Discuss the two cases when R is greater than A and R is less than A. So it is very important problem. So let's consider. So suppose this is wire and uh, current is distributed throughout the volume. So we can say in pi A square area, current is I. So if we consider small circle of radius small r here case is when r is less than a in that case current enclosed by this small loop will be suppose i dash and i dash will be equal to i divided by pi a square times pi r square here i have applied unitary rule that says that if 
area pi a square contains current i, then unit area will contain i by pi a square. Then given area that is pi r square will contain i upon i times pi r square divided by pi a square. So this will give i times small r square divided by a square. So we apply Ampere circuit Allah. So we have got so I this as I times R square divided by A square. Now from Ampere circuit Allah integration V dot DF equal to mu naught I this and b dot dl as i told you that b and dl are at angle zero degree so in that case b and integration dl will give l and l will be circumference of the circle in consideration so that will be equal to 2 pi r equal to mu naught i dash and i dash equal to i r square divided by a square so b equal to mu dot i r square divided by 2 pi r times a square so r r will cancel out and we will get mu dot i divided by 2 pi here one r will be there because this is smart this is single r this is r square and then a square so we can say that b equal to mu naught i divided by 2 pi a square times r and here bracketed term is constant so we can say that b proportional to r so when we take loop inside in that case magnetic field is directly proportional to distance now let's consider one loop outs outside suppose loop is like this this time we are considering the case when r is greater than a clearly current enclosed will remain same so we can say that for r greater than a integration b dot dl equal to mu naught i because i is not going to change so b times 2 pi r equal to mu naught i or b equal to mu naught i divided by 2 pi r so we can say that b is inversely proportional to r so for outside we have got this relation b inversely proportional to r and for inside we have got the relation b proportional to r now we can plot the graph between b and r so graph will be like this or inside till we reach to the surface of the wire graph will be straight line like this so on this axis we write b and on this axis we take r and till this point r will be equal to a and after that b is inversely proportional to r so graph will look like this so this here b is inversely proportional to r and here b is directly proportional to r thank you for watching